Welcome to Sheetwise. So what exactly is VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. This function is incredibly useful for tasks like finding prices, employee names, or any other data point from a list. Let's start with a simple example. Imagine we have a product list and we want to find the price of a banana. We use VLOOKUP. We type in VLOOKUP, then we write banana and mark or highlight the table and type in two and false. As you can see, VLOOKUP returned the $2, which is the price of the banana. Let's break down the formula step by step. It's like peeling an onion layer by layer, but without the tears, hopefully. VLOOKUP has four main arguments. It sounds fancy, right? <laughs> Let's make it less intimidating. First, the lookup value is the value of what you want to search. In our example, banana, but you can just enter a cell too. So like C2, yeah? And now you can type in banana and you see it's $2 or apple. So it's uh, like finding a needle in a haystack, but the needle is uh, an apple and the haystack is Excel. Second, the table array is the range of the cells that contain the data. Here it's A1, 2, B4. Think of it as the treasure map where X marks a spot. Third, the column index num. This is the column number in the table from which to retrieve the value. Since price is the second one, two, we use two. Easy peasy. Finally, range lock. Specifies whether you want an exact match or an approximate match. We use false for an exact match because who wants <laughs> approximate when you can have exact? So, but let's talk about some common errors you might encounter and how to fix them. Because let's be real, we've all been there. So let's start with this error. Apples. Oh, N A. This error means that the lockup value wasn't found. This could be due to a typo or the value simply not existing in the table. Double check your lockup value. It's like proofreading, but for Excel. Now we change that to a three. This error usually happens when the call index number is greater than the number of columns in the table array. One, two, and we entered three. Make sure. Your column index number is correct. Remember, Excel doesn't appreciate overachievers in this context. What's the difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP? Simply put, VLOOKUP searches vertically, while HLOOKUP searches horizontally. It's like the difference between walking upstairs and walking down a hall. Both get you somewhere just in different directions. If your data were organized horizontally, you would use HLOOKUP like this. HLOOKUP and Apple table array. Now the row index number, two and false. And you see an Apple costs one dollar. While VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP uh, is powerful, there are alternatives like index match and XLOOKUP that are more flexible. Think of them as uh, cooler and younger siblings of that kid. Here's a quick look at how index match works. I try to break it down. We start with index. So we write index and index asks for array. We use here these nine cells as array. And now we can set coordinates like um, here in Excel. Uh, let's say we want to show the five so it's row number one, two, we write two. And column number one, two is two. And we close it. And now five here, it's one, two, one, two. This is how index works. Match is like the opposite of index. Match shows where is the position. So now we use this five and say, this is the lockup array for the column, enter, it's one, two, and now we write match five to find the column, so enter, two, two. So it's the opposite of index, and so we can use it. So we write index, now we use the array of the price, match, um, apple, and we tell them where is the apple, and close it. You see, the apple costs one dollar. Now we take a look at 
X lookup. We start with X lookup and we want to see the price of this apple. And now the lookup array, it's here. Yeah, in this column we find the product and now and here is the return array. Here's the result we want to see. We close the bracket and it's one dollar. XLOOKUP is very flexible. So we use XLOOKUP and say Apple and the lookup array is now here. The return array here. We close it. It's one dollar. You see XLOOKUP is like VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP combined. Here are some tips and best practice to keep in mind when using VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, and all the lookup. Of course, we all need a little guidance sometimes. Ensure data integrity by avoiding duplicate entries in your lookup column. Use named ranges to make your formulas more readable. It's, um, it's easy here with the small tables, but uh, trust me, it could be really hard. So we highlight this table and call it product list. Why not? Now you can use this name and uh, write VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, um, look here oh, for this apple and instead of table A, we schreibe product list, you see it here, and two and false. That's much better to read if you have a name. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful. Let me know if I missed something or if you have any topic requests. And see you next time.